Hello everybody and welcome to Shell Tour Night. I'm super excited. This um, that I have up here is the original shell. I thought we'd put that on screen to start with and go over the original graphic. Not that one. That one. And um, yeah, this is my best friend's 80s house. I put it together base game and I will grab mine that I put together do to do near 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 that way I can show you what it looked like back then or as close as I could get it there we go we'll put this in furnished and I'll show you what the house looked like as I remember it so we'll start with this one let me grab my tour person. Hey, Space and Rico. Welcome in, everybody. Um, let me... Where's my tour lady? You move in. Furnished. There we go. Yep, graphic is still on screen. Thank you for reminding me. And so is the date, and we're not in 1873. There we go. All right. Let me uh, see if I can remember how to do this tour thing. Anyways, so basically back then they had this house. It was on. A, it was in a big uh, subdivision, and they had a garage that they didn't use anymore. So they bricked it over, and um. The front walk was always well decorated, and they had an area here for all the shoes and stuff, and they had a wreath that was up there a lot of the times, and upstairs was the main living area. They had two dogs, so they almost always had two golden retrievers, and they had this huge wall of memories here. Um, this was the kitchen. I had just a little small galley kitchen, and um, my friend's mom would make baklava and all sorts of stuff, and I don't know how she managed it in such a teeny kitchen. But then they had a big oval table, so this round one was as close as I could get. And I'll be honest, I don't remember what the lights looked like. It's not something you look at as an eight-year-old, so... We had, this is where the Atari uh, was. This was back in the 80s, so Atari was a big thing back then. So we would play here with the dogs sleeping on their beds. And she was, uh, her mom was also my Girl Scout leader. And back here, we had the main bathroom, which was set up pretty much like this. They had a shower tub combo. And then the room we were never allowed in, so I had to sort of comp I had to sort of improvise. This is the master bedroom. Uh, we were almost never allowed in there, and then the master bath, which may or may not have looked like this. I don't remember ever seeing it. So, hi, Caters, welcome in. I know they had a closet, and I know she had a nice vanity. And this was my best friend's room. She had a canopy bed, so I tried to make it as close as I could. And she had everything pink. Why, I don't know. But she and I stayed friends until our teenage years. So I tried to make it as close as I could remember, but I discovered that memories don't always go back 40 years. So... And then her little sister, Jenny, lived in here and had a pet hamster. And had, she was really into sports and stuff. So we have only her medals and all the stuff. She was really into a lot of stuff. So I tried to cover the walls with as much as I could think of. And then downstairs is where we would get together for family meetings or, or like family stuff most of the Girl Scout meetings were 
upstairs. But we had this big family room here where the adults would get and get together and play board games. And we would all sit in this corner as the kids and play with all sorts of toys. We had dollhouses, we had ponies, we had we had a ton of stuff. And then this is where I watched forbidden we'll just say forbidden movies. Movies that I wasn't allowed to watch at home. <laughs> So most of the stuff that I got in trouble for was in this room. Um, apparently that got messed up. This is this is another bathroom. It was just a shower. Um, over here was a laundry room, which we didn't spend a whole lot of time in for the simple reason that we weren't interested in cleaning. And back in here was the computer room. They had a computer, um, probably before my family actually had a computer, and we used to play a game called Alley Cat, and we played it so much on this computer, and there were games and fun stuff all over the place in this room. So, that was my first experience with PC gaming. Then her older sister lived in here. And I do remember that she had a Murphy bed, and obviously the, her TV didn't look like this, but she had one of her own in here. And she was sort of in and out from college, so we didn't see her all of the time. And back here was just um, storage stuff. I put in a tent and a bunch of stuff because we did a lot of camping as Girl Scouts. And then... Back here was the utility room. Again, we weren't really allowed back here because there wasn't anything for kids. Um, that pole being there is annoying me, but we'll forgive it for right this second. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you the backyard, which we spent an awful lot of time in the backyard jumping off the swing set mostly. They had wind chimes and we had a grill and the dogs would be let to play out here so there was a gate so they wouldn't go down unless they were supervised. And then there was a little garden and we had a big swing set. And the garden hose was always under there. It was one of those swing sets where it wasn't, uh, it had the slide on the side, and there were probably three or four swings across the whole thing. And we would swing really high, and the whole um, swing set would rock back and forth. I don't think we ever managed to tip it over, but we tried. Um, and then. This was basically just a uh, work area. Um, that was before um, my friend's dad got multiple scler sclerosis or got diagnosed. So that was when he was still doing a lot of stuff around the house. Um, but so this is what it looked like back then. So this is what I see every time I look at the house. I always see the big backyard with the swings and everything like that. So, yeah, every time I go past the subdivision it was in, I'm like, I wonder what it looks like now, but I never drive past, so. It was quite a way, it was quite a while ago. But anyways, I thought we'd start with that, and then maybe, Helene, would, would you like us to do yours next? Let me make sure Move Objects is on. And let's hop to Manage Worlds. I know Helene probably will have to go before long because it's it's getting late for you. So let's move this chick out and go to Gallery. Going to have to do this. Nice! Alright, we're going to do Helene's first, 
and it's on a 30 by 20. So I'll just stick it right over top of where mine was. Okay, well let's place, we'll put you right there. I figured it was getting pretty late for you, so I figured we'd do yours first. I'm really excited, guys. I really, when I built the house originally last year when we got platforms, my initial thought was that I wanted to rebuild it and update it. But the more I looked at it, the more I was like, you know what? I can't update it. It's always going to look like the other one. So I was like, this is a great idea to have other people put it together and see what they see on the house. So let's, let's hop in. There we go. I love tour days. Tour days are some of my favorite days. You put the garage back. I think actually there's a couple people who uh, elected to put the garage back. So let's page up. And this is gorgeous. I love the changes you made to the outside of the build. I'm just going to kind of look at that a little bit first. This is really pretty. I like the black and white. Oh, look at this backyard. Oh, that is super cool. I do like this. This is this is super nice. All right, let's let's hop into tours. And let's go. We'll go in the front door. This little platform was such a cool thing to put together because this is exactly how they did it in the 80s. Should we go up or down first? Helene, do you have a preference? I'm kind of thinking down. Down is living? Okay, we'll start there then. I think a lot of people actually put the kitchen downstairs, which is funny because it was it was upstairs at that point in time. I love this closet idea. That is a super cool idea. I love the floors that you chose. Really cool. I this is so different from what it was. Got the guitar. Lots of little toys everywhere. Magazines. I love this shelf. I'm going to have to pull that apart and figure out how you did it, but it looks really nice. I like it. And the little memory area for all the pictures. Underwater photo. This is one of those wood floors that I really like. It's just simple. Look at this nice kitchen dining. This is really good. Your builds are always so amazing. Debug columns and shelf. Yeah, I'll probably pull it apart later and look at it. But look at this. This is so nice. Compared to their kitchen, their kitchen was tiny back then. I love this. This is nice. So, um, it looks lived in. And all the, all the, uh, plants around the hearth is really pretty. I like that. Okay, let's see. This is a bathroom. I'm so glad they fixed the mirrors. Look at all the fun stuff on the shelves. I like this. This is really well done, Helene. Did a great job. We've got little cars. I love the little vintage cars. They're so cute. Let's see what's over here. We have a garage. The little car parked sideways. All the cleaning stuff on the shelves. Oh, this is cool. Look at all the tools on the shelves. Good job. And the pails, bunch of different garbage cans. Garage is the good place to keep it. And then we have like a little, have a little laundry area. I really like this. Didn't fit straight. Yeah, the garage was small. I think originally the garage went further back into the house. Um, and they, um, 
bricked some of it off, I think. But that's just a guess based on the uh, floor plan that I know of. Oh, I love this bedroom. This is so nice. With the windows to the outside. Oh, that is really nice. The kitchen on the other side of the wall. I really like this. This would totally be my bedroom. All right. I do like the custom bed. I like the way you made the uh, the uh, headboard. It looks really nice that way. And upstairs. We have a piano. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. Oh, what a gorgeous room. Oh, perfect use of color in here. I really like it. Very nice. And let's see what's in here. Have a little kitchen slash art area. It's like a little half kitchen, kind of. But I love that you could wash out your brushes at the sink. We'll check out the outside after this. Yeah, it's a little mud room. And we have another bathroom. This looks so much bigger than it did in mine because mine build was so crowded. Look at the layering of the rugs. Very well done. You know me, I love rugs that are layered together. And then we have this turned into a big room. Oh, that's really nice. Look at the view. I love the um, upsized rose rug. It's one of my favorite rugs. I just wish it upsized a little bit better. The texture is kind of weird sometimes. And then we have this room over here and a walk-in closet. Ooh, fancy. Oh, it goes to the other one. Or no? It's just being weird. Oh, der. That's a mirror, I think. Oh, it is. Look. Ha! I tried to think it was a door. Good me. I love the walk-in closet, though. That is super nice. And then we have what I'm guessing is an ensuite. Scoot over. And then we have it's a really cool way of doing the built in tub. I just wish it toured better. Very pretty. I like the way you use the different cut different rugs for the flooring. And I would never think of using that wall with that particular shower. I think it worked out really well, though. This is a super cool looking house. I like the way you use the, um, what I usually think of the kids' bedroom, the blue stripy wallpaper for it. With, this looks really nice out here. We go down here, down, down, down. Oh, I didn't even notice the landscaping in the corner. Oh, that is really cute. I like that. This is really nice looking. A little grilling area. This is what my friend's dad would have killed to have back then. He would have loved to have this. And I will go, and then we're going to check out the attic, because I did miss that. Thank you for reminding me. We'll just go through this wall. I did miss the attic. It, we're going to go through here. We'll see how well it tours. Here. Oh, I love all the different chairs up here. This is really cute. I love it. I don't think they had an attic. They may have had um they may have had stairs to an attic, but I don't remember ever seeing it. It would have made sense cuz a lot of stuff did have attics. Oh, there's a little hideaway bed and some more chairs storage. Very cool. I do like this a lot. 
What is this? I'm just curious. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that piece before. I'm curious. What exactly is it? It's just a debug pot. I don't think I've ever seen it before, though. It's kind of cool. Yeah, they. I th if they did have an attic, it was probably pull out stairs like here. But I don't ever remember ever looking at the ceiling, I'll be honest. <laughs> but this is great. You did a really, really well, well done job. I really like it. Um, Very, very well done. All right, let's... I did add windows for an attic because there were um, windows up there. Hey, Simulasis, how are you? I will tour when you get back, all right? So just let me know whenever you're back in, and we will tour yours then. I like touring when the people actually can see, see the tour. So have fun with your yard work. This is Helene's, and it was done base game. So it's really, really cool looking. And you know what else I didn't look at? Let's go back down. Eh. I'm in the wrong mode. There we go. I didn't check the... I didn't go into the shed. Silly me. Definitely, you use half walls on the shed. Cool. I like that. Yeah, it was sized up quite a lot. I like the way you did the half walls and the roofing. And the wheelbarrow, flowers. This is really cool. Very nicely done. I'm always impressed with your builds, Helene. So let's get all the love and the hype in chat for Helene's build. And we're going to pop back into Manage Worlds. And who wants to go next? You did a really good job, Helene. I really like the looks. Let's evict you. Yeah, Space, you can certainly go next. Um, Let me... I'm assuming it's this one, Space, right? The newest one? Yeah, we'll do this one. Okay, let's place it. We'll just keep going there because that's a good place for it. Yeah, I think I've looked at, I might have looked at one of Space's builds previously, but I don't remember. I know I have you followed. We're going to go furnished, purchase the home, and let's go. Well, that's awesome, Space. I'm so glad you had time to get it done. Let's go page up and take a look at the outside real quick this looks like a completely different house you did a wonderful job on the outside look at all this landscaping I love it oh and you added a pool and a hot tub oh this is awesome I really like it we will check that out in more detail. So let's go down to the front door. The planters put up on the walls is a great idea. I really like that space. And then we have a, a nice basketball hoop. 
and redoing this so it wasn't brick anymore was a really good idea. And we've got a front door. Oh, look at this. We've got a kitty cat. I love the change of poles there. Very nice. And I hate the way it places sometimes with the platform um, columns going up, but that's okay. I know where they were meant to be. Love that you opened this up into a kitchen. That is really nice. What a pretty kitchen, too. I like that. Let's see. Over here we have a really nice... I do like this. With the um, windows. I love the different windows. It looks super modern and nice. A little bookcase. Let's see what's in here. We have an office. That's a good idea. It's a bookcase. And a chalkboard, computer. I love these wooden floors. I'm a sucker for hardwood floors. I really am. And look at this bathroom. This is stunning. Love the black and white with the rug for color. What a good job, Space. I love this. I never use those doors. Or at least I don't use them enough. Oh, look at this bedroom. Oh, this is neat. The closet in the corner. Oh. Talk about spacious. Yeah, pun not intended. Very nice, though. I love this. This is so nice. All the different colors work together perfectly. Yeah, you are welcome to do um, a good portion of the walls. I see we have we have a sauna in here. That's a nice addition. I like that idea. Yeah, it w it was sort of guessing which walls might be support walls. That was the hard part. But look at this backyard, guys. How cool is this? Love the pool idea. Let's go see the shed before I forget. And, oh, it's a spooky little kid's hideout. That's a super idea. I love this. That is awesome with the game cons console. Yeah, that's great. Let's head back inside. I love that you added the outside door here. That was a really good idea. It's like a non-tree tree house. Yeah, I saw that one. Okay, so we're now we go upstairs. Oh, look at this big theater room. In a bar area with a dance floor. Oh, that's really nice space. A little kitchenette up here for popcorn. Oh, that's awesome. You can make your own popcorn for your for your movie nights. Plenty of room for everybody. And now you want to see Helene build a tree house? Yeah, me too. Man, oh, look at this. It's another black and white bathroom. Love black and white. This is well done. I like the use of those uh, pillar lights. I don't use them as much as I should. Okay, let's go this way. Have a bedroom here. Very cool. I like the colors in here. We have a nice closet. That's really nice. Now I see that you use those pillar ones several times. Really nice. 
Let's go in here. Oh, I love this uh, wallpaper. It's actually one of my favorite wallpapers in the game. The only thing I hate is that it doesn't have swatches. If it had more swatches, I would be 100% into it. And I would use it, like, all the time. Good use of colors in here, though. Very nice. Yeah, I need that wallpaper in real life. Look at this kid's room! We've got a dinosaur and a desk with a little journal. Bunk beds, scouting board. Very cool. You did a great job on this. Let's go see what... Let's go see this out here. Got a little overlook. This deck was so much fun to build. Because it was just sort of off the back of the house. Really nice. Great job. Considering this is only your second show uh, that you've ever done, you did a really good job on it. I'm really impressed. Ah, stop glitching. Super job. Let's get all the love and the hearts in, in chat because this was a gorgeous build. I love what you did with the uh, landscaping in particular. The outside of the house is so nice. It's really, really nice looking. You're welcome, Space. I love tour nights. I love seeing what everybody else does with the challenge, you know? Let's move you back out. And who would like to go next? Let's see. Let's get back to the gallery. Vampire, you certainly can. I love the title of yours. Here, let me mark the ones that we've already done. We did spaces. I haven't done this yet, but I will. And then let's hop in and do vampires. I'm so excited. Nope. Hit the wrong button. Hold on. Let me see what size lot it is. Because you used a bigger lot. Ooh, 50 by 40. Nice. Let's throw that in Newcrest then. Um, let's put it here. Residential. And if it doesn't switch it out, we will fix it. Yeah, you get some rest, Helene. I'm glad you, ca you were able to stop in, and thank you very much for uh, putting in a shell. I think it was a really good job. Someone up and moved a house. Yep. Okay, let's... It stayed residential. Amazing. Helene, we love your builds. Absolutely amazing builds. I just don't know how you do all you do in base game. I really don't. <laughs> okay, you're welcome to sneak out whenever you need to. Alright, let's put the walls up. Look at what you did with this. Oh, vampire, I love the windows. I don't think I've ever seen that swatch of the windows. What an awesome job with the windows, though. And the black and white is striking. I love this. Very cool. All right. Very goth and still cool at the same time. Yeah, I love it. I can't wait to see the inside. Let's hop down. And let's 
go in. I love the way you use the uh, Snowy Escape mailbox. That looks really cool. And look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is really nice. Look at all the brooms and the crystals. Oh, I see you went very witchy. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, there's some walls missing, but I think it looks okay. Oh, look at this. The cauldron and all the herbs, the familiars. Curious to see what's in here. We have a bathroom. Look at how brightly colored this is. I love it. Good rug stacking. And I love the Batu planter in the corner. Very cool. No, witchy is never a bad thing. I love the way it, it looks. Very nice. Let's go over here, and I think we have a kitchen. Oh, wow, look at this. More herbs. This is super nice looking. It's a witchin. I like that. I'm going to stick with that that word. That's a great. And I love the new um, stove hood used there. Very nice. And check out this dining area. And the living area is all put together. Very cool looking. I love this a lot. I can't wait to see what you did with the upstairs. Look at this. I would be here all the time. Actually, no. I'd probably be on the computer, but you know. I love that you uh, opened this up so you can see to the stairwell. Very well done. Let's go around here. Oops. Upstairs. Oh, look at this. We have a play tent. What all the kids really want. Would you stop doing the glitchiness? There we go. That's the computer that I would be on 90% of the time. Because that's what I do. I love the garage mural. Art area. And we have the laundry area in here. Really well done. Perfect place for the witch to eat Hansel and Gretel. I can see that. Another golden bathroom. Oh, this is so nice. With the knitting rug. Never would have thought to use the knitting rug. Which is still use washing machines. Well, yeah. And they don't mop. They ride the brooms. And the mops instead. Look at this. Oh, super cool. These windows are just so nice. I love the windows, vamp. Let's see. Got another bathroom. And we remembered the toilet paper. I approve. Let's see. I love that this ended up being pink. What a neat room with the desk underneath and stop glitching. I love this bunk bed. It looks so cool. And then we have the little monster light up top where it needs to be. Oof. Glitchies. We'll just go in here. Oh, we've got princesses and unicorns and bunnies. I love the color scheme in this house. And the one wall with that wallpaper looks great. Hold on. We're going to... Oh, you got it. Thank you very much for... Uh... Whoops. There we go. 
Baby goth room. Thank you for the ban hammer there, vampire. We don't need those kind of people. I love this accent wall idea, though. Really nice. Really well done, vampire. I like the spandrels up here. That is so cool. Let's go check out the backyard. Ooh, meditation yoga area. With all those spells you have to cast, I mean, that was a good use, good idea of using that particular gate there. I really like it. We have the backyard, got some planters, and a grilling area. Ah, we put in a door here. Good idea. And we've got a little shed with some more herbs drying and a flower bench. Super well done. Thank you for put for uh, putting in your uh, your build. I really appreciate it. And I think it turned out amazing. Great job, vampire. Let's let's say. Oh, and. Aha, uh -huh. we have a little bit of an attic up here. Hold on. Look at this. <laughs> I found a secret. Look what I found. That's cool. You can see it through the window. Really well done. I love it. Look what we found. That is so cool. I didn't even think of putting a secret room up there. Nicely done. It's Tall Lady. She should be in every build, right? Alrighty, guys. Let's all the love and the hype in chat for Vampire. That was amazing. Really well done. I don't know why it set it to National Park again. Can't change while the lot is owned. Fine. That's weird. Okay, let's sell the lot. And I'm going to just go in and manually change this to residential. Because it's just being weird. Because you guys saw, before I toured it, it was most definitely residential. Vamp is a national park, yes. Okay, now... There we go. Alright, who, who would like to go next? Wrong button. Gallery. Let's see. We have reds, we have trinities. I already toured mine. We already toured Helene's. We have Brits. Sure, Cater, we could do yours next. Let's. 30 by 20. Ooh, only a couple packs. I love it. That's cool. Let's put it back here. Oh, we'll do this one. Furnished. I'm super excited. Tour nights are my favorite streaming nights. I have to say that. That's such a cute picture of you, Caters. I love that picture. Alrighty, let's move you in. And let's go see. Alright, let's put up the walls. 
I love the fact that the uh, mailbox is in a lavender clump. That's a, such a cute idea. You made this into a greenhouse. Oh, what a smart idea. Ah, and look at the towels on the sh lounge chairs. That's perfect. What a great idea. All right, let's go back in the front and let's see. Yeah, greenhouses are amazing. Let's go. Lip. I am terrible with tours. Either go too fast or too slow. All right, we have a shoe area, which is a perfect idea. I love the fact that everybody put the kitchen downstairs. I think that's awesome. Look at this dining room. Super cute. Ooh, and we even have goodies on the table. What? And a little doll. Look, a little doll. Oh, that is so cute. I agree the kitchen would make more sense to be downstairs. I love the painting. Yay. Yeah, I wasn't sure the cupcakes would stay either. And look at, we've got bottles on top of the fridge. It looks exactly like our fridge does. We have bottles all over the place up there. All this fun stuff. We have a cowberry. Look at this. I love it. The calendar and the nano trash can. Really nice. You have cake pans on top of your fridge. Another good idea. We made that into a little nook. I love that you took out the fireplace and added a nook. I love the brick there. And the piano. We've got a nice place to sit and relax. With the remote on the table. That was Red's idea, so you can't claim it. Nice. On top of the fridge. It does seem like a little bit of a strange place to put it. Look at this room. This is beautiful, Cater. I love this. And a little hang in there, kitty. Very cool. Rose. I think it looks really nice with the uh, crown and uh, base moldings in here. And let's see. And here we have a bathroom. Look at the little ladybug. So cute. The painting. We have a mirror. Very cool. I don't think I missed anything. No, because that corner is the kitchen. Got it. Okay. Let's head upstairs. The crown and base moldings is so nice. Oh, we turned this into an activity room. With a little nook for the desk. Oh, so cute. We have a future cube. A cell phone. Oh, that is so cool. Let's start with seeing what this is. Nice big bathroom. All right, stop glitching. There we go. Love the candles. This is so pretty. Cool. And a bunny rabbit. How are you supposed to reach that toilet paper? You have to stand up. <laughs> Just one of those moments where weird thoughts pop into my head. Ah. We have a pink bedroom. Pink and purple. I love it. Is that a door? We have a closet. Huh? <laughs> I love the door behind the curtain.
A friend made it so I could move the camera when stre <laughs> streaming. Didn't think to check. Nice. Very cool. All right, let's see what's in here. We have a kid's room. Look at all the toys on the floor. And the, oh, I love it. Have another little closet. Look at all the stuff. I love it. Very cool. Toy box and I love how you're like the third or fourth person who've put the shoe thing in on this build. I know I put it in. Look at this rug. Oh, that's awesome. I love the colors in here. And we have the little bonefish one. So nice. Love the red and the green. And it somehow doesn't look Christmassy, even though you use red and green. Yeah, it clearly needed kid stuff in here. You're right. Got a bar out here. Place to eat and sit. Let's go see what's downstairs. Uh, I love the pool. It looks so inviting. And the towels on the ends of the chaises. I may very well have to steal that idea sometime because that is a great idea. And like the third person to put in a door downstairs. That's a really good idea. Look at this gardening house. I love the greenhouse. with the sink. Oh, so cool. Really, really well done, Cater. I love this. I think the pool is my favorite part. The pool and the, uh, the towels and the loungers is my favorite part of the whole thing. Let's see. Floor plan, mostly the same. Little bit of changes downstairs, but I think it worked out really well. Very cool. All the love and hype in chat. I love this bed with this uh, rug as well. Really nice looking. Great job. Not save and go to manage worlds. Everybody did such a wonderful job with this. It's really cool to see. Type in hearts and chat for yet another amazing build. Okay, so we have Brits and Simuls, Trinities and reds all the sage yes don't forget the sage so red you want to go next since i know you're here we can do yours next let's see it's on hey knees welcome in got a 30 by 20. let's toss it right here I love the way you turned this green. I love the colors. I kind of peeked at the outside of, the, of it earlier just because I liked the colors. You keep making my builds green. Well, it's because you know I like green. I like green and red and purple. Those are my favorite colors. Let's hop in and we'll go see. Really excited. Okay. Love the change of the 
um, fencing here. Oh, look, you made this into a little garden. Got sage, napnip, catnip. Look at all the basils. Got more sage. This is so cute. Love it. I love the windows you chose, too. Oh my goodness! Ninster, welcome in! We are doing tours? And welcome in, raiders! Um, this is uh, our very own Red Fox's build for my best friend shell challenge. And we're just kind of glancing at the outside before we go inside and look at it. I love all the flowers underneath there. That's a great idea, Red. Another, I spy another big window to the outside that wasn't there before. That's cool. <laughs> Welcome in, Nin. How was your stream today? I hope you had a good stream. Is that how you treat a gift? Oh, no. <laughs> Alrighty, let's, let's take a look. He's been hogging your chair long enough. Oh, no. I love this garden. I really do. Let's see. We have the front area with... Oh, really nice. You added a window and a little ottoman. A place to take off your shoes. Ah, that's a really cool thing to do there. I didn't even think of using that door. Oh, Red, this is so pretty with the purples. And the flower wall. Oh, this is gorgeous. Love the aesthetic in here. Look at this. So cool. The shelves up top. I really like this. I realize the columns are supposed to be down. Platforms do that. And I love this backsplash. I'm going to have to look and see what that's from because I don't think I've ever seen that swatch. Look at all the plants. You do such a good job with plants, Red. Red is our, is our, uh, resident. Oh, it's gallery art. That's cool. That's why I haven't seen it before. I love the uh, oven up there. Very cool. The cafe menu. And use these doors, which is really cool. Look at this fun. This is a super fun laundry room. Love the combination of the gray floors with the walls. It looks really nice. I love this. All the hanging plants. And that painting matches perfectly. And I never would have thought to use it with that particular tile. Let's see. Let's go in here. Oh, we have a mysterious bathroom. I think this is, let's guess, that's a shower. Nice. That's a really cool way to light up the shower. I do like that. And then over here is probably the toilet. Love it. Very cool. Yeah, that tile is just amazing looking. Let's see what this got turned into. We got a downstairs bedroom. Oh, look at this. I love the vanity. Very cool. I love the combination of colors. The green with the teal is really nice. And then we added in... That is, that is so cool. Look at this room. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is super nice looking. With the bamboo size down on the side. You are so good with plants. So good with plants. This looks so relaxing. 
That's such a nice warm tone. All right, let's head upstairs. Debug column in the window trick from Helene. It's a, it's a good trick. It makes it look like there's curtains there. Look at this little mud room. It's all the bookshelves and the puppers and kitties. I love it. All right, I skipped some stuff. Let's go over here. That's so cute. Love this. That is the cutest little gallery art. I assume that's gallery art because I don't think I remember seeing it. And the skeleton guitar. Win. You win the whole thing right there with the skeleton guitar. I hardly ever remember to use that. Look at this. <laughs> Seriously? I've never seen that swatch before. But it looks like it desi it's designed to match everything in the room. <laughs> How you do the things you do, I just don't know. I never think of these things. The backpack and all the athletic gear. Even has the skull backpack. And the little cow floor doesn't look like a cow floor. <laughs> that is so cool. Is that for the paranormal chair? That may be why I don't recognize it. I haven't looked at all the swatches there. Yeah, the roofs. I don't know either. It's just it's just a talent. What can I say? Ooh, what a pretty bathroom with the elephant. With a little elephant tra trash can. And the mandala. Oh, this is really cool. I love all the colors. Oh, that's awesome. I never, ever use these doors. But they look so awesome in this build. And we have a master bedroom. Look at this closet. This clo th That closet is fabulous. Look at the mirror in the back, too. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and the desk. Fake fireplace. A really good use of that jungle adventure tile. I'll have to remember that it fits in there. And then we have really pretty bathroom. Good job for remembering bathroom trash cans because everybody has them except for in Sims. Oh, look at all the makeup! That is so cool. Somebody had fun in Debug. That is super cool. Or is it big? Is it is it that base game? But I don't remember it. I love the glass door into the nursery, so you can see what the kids are doing. And the pride picture, you get extra points for that. That's a cute idea with the with the uh, end table on top of that. It's a really cute idea. Is this your first nursery? Well, you did a great job with it. That is such a cool painting. Very, very nice. I love it. And I think we have one more room in here. Oh, look at all the colors. Oh my gosh, I love the confetti wallpaper. That is so cool with the little... The funny little bunny seat and the penguin TV. I always forget that comes in weird colors, but it looks awesome. Okay, did I miss anything other than the outside? I don't think so. Look at this. Love the dark railings. And the tray. This is so pretty down here. This just makes me think of little dogs frolicking through it. Or bunnies. 
And we have another greenhouse. Somebody else made a greenhouse out of this, or the shed into a greenhouse, which is a super idea. I love it. This flower bench is like one of my favorite decor items. There's a hose, because you'd need one. Really well done, Red. This was a great build. Hype and hearts in chat. And did we hide anything in the upstairs room? Nope. But really well done. Love the lighting you chose. And all the different... Um, somehow the colors all go really well together. Super build. Hype and hearts and chats for our very favorite Red, who is an amazing builder. Don't ever let Red sell herself short. Because, yeah, I think it looks amazing. And these are just gallery art, painted by reference. That's a super neat idea. Love them. Huh. Using them as a backsplash is genius. Absolutely genius. Alrighty. Let's see. It is an untapped market because I never look for it. I absolutely never look for it. Alright, let's see. Who else do we have to do? That was Reds. We already did Caters. We need to do Trinities. Um... I did yours, Cater. Yeah, I thought so. I'm pretty sure... Yes, I did do Caters. Okay, so we have Trinities, Simulacuses, and Brits left to tour. Who wants to go next that's here? I don't think Trinity's actually here tonight, and I don't think Brit is either. But I thought I saw Simulacus chatting a second ago. Are you ready for your tour, or should I do the other two first? I also know there are a couple that are still in progress that haven't been finished, and I am absolutely 100% willing to... Uh, Willing to tour anything that's finished late. I will... Okay, so that's on a 30 by 20. Let's... Let's toss it here. I'm so glad to see you participating this time, Simulacis. It seems like this brought in a lot of people that don't always do shells. Because it was such a cool idea. I really like the idea. My friend was uh, very into interior design. So. This would be. Would have been right up her alley. So it was kind of fun. Alrighty. Let's move in our tour chick. I love that you used lot traits. And the outside is so cute. I haven't peeked, but I did look at the outside because some of them are just really cute. The October one is going to be insane. Um, and the shell that I will be debuting right after this is entitled um hold on my brain just absolutely died for a second it's the uh it's called roll the dice so if anybody likes random dice rolls this is going to be a fun shell this is so cute look at all the landscaping i'm gonna have to go in and look at all of that closely but I, this is great 
We have a little firebox. Oh my gosh! This is so cute. And we have another basketball hoop, which is great. The romantic garden flowers. I lo look at the sunflower garden. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. And I hit the wrong button twice. I'm good at that. Love the porch lights. And that you added a little uh, porch roof. That's super cute. Little flower plants. And the hollyhock. Really, really cute. Love this door. The sunflower garden is a super idea. And we have this. Very nice mixing of two items there. With the... Um, Yeah, the leash shelf and the hooks. I really think that's awesome. And we put the sunflowers in the basket, which is great, with all the mail right there. I love these colors. This is so nice. Look at this. Oh, that's a cute make, uh, mashup of things, too. Really well done. Love that paranormal lamp. Look at this. Oh, that mirrors. Look at all the mirrors and the gallery art. Okay, I would be spending all my time in this room. I'm just saying. But look at this. How cute is all this clutter? You needed a name, so you went with sunflowers. It's awesome. Look at this. Have a little mirror here. You made an upright piano that actually looks like an upright piano. I love it. Absolutely love it. And the guitar. That is so cute. I think that's a uh I think it's that's the same piece that's flipped it's somebody tooled it. That's yeah, I would be proud of that piano too because it looks exactly what like what it's supposed to and the fishy tank yeah this would 100 percent be my favorite room in the house got all this with the computer and all the books and more sunflowers good idea with the uh mason jar lights above the piano too this is so pretty can't wait to see the rest of the house it Look at this bathroom. All the details. Love that. Did not know that that had a swatch that matched that wallpaper so well. The holiday, or the, uh, the brick pattern. Fish tank with no fish. Eh, well, we'll just pretend they were there. It's not like you can interact with them anyways, which I find incredibly annoying, personally. I mean, I love fish tanks. I've always been a huge... Look at this! Oh, I love the tile! Well, because in every previous Sims game, when they had fish tanks, you could at least, like, pretend to feed the fish. Or if you had it in a fishbowl, I mean, they could actually die if you didn't feed them. Okay, I approve of the toilet plunger. Good. Because every bathroom should have one. Never thought of using that towel over top of a towel rack. Really nice idea. Love the colors in here. Super cute. Let's go this away. Oh, look at this. With the door to outside. We have a secret. We have a secret room. Which isn't very secret because it's a very... Uh, it's a bookcase that stands out, so it doesn't do a very good job of being secret. Look at this. I love the black and white and gray. That is so cute. All right, I'm curious. What is in here? Oh, we have a whole hallway full of storage. What's in here? <laughs> the utility closet. That's awesome. Very cool. 
Now that's attention to detail right there. Guest bedroom across the hall. Yeah, let's see what's in here. Oh my gosh, look at this playroom. Never would have thought to use that Moschino wallpaper, but it works perfectly for a playroom. And I can see this was play tested. I see a kid's artwork on the wall here. That is so cute. I love the way you used actual artwork on the walls. Very cool. And using the uh, plumb bobs for the kids' room, great idea. Absolutely great idea. You had a blast making all the artwork. Well, you did a good job. Super job. What is hiding behind here? Oh, I see a dinosaur and another vehicle painting. Oh, we have some more artwork up here. Huh? <laughs> really great. Love all the details in here. Surprise dino, yes. <laughs> and the little robot. And look, it's a hedgehog. Hello, hedgehog. Hello. These little pets and the uh, fish coffee table are why I like my first pets so much. And then I think this is the guest. I would like to be a guest in this house, that's for sure. Look at the rug stacking. Bonus points. Oh, I love the rug stacking. You did great. Look at this. That bed was not designed to go with that wallpaper, but it looks like it was. And you used, what, three different, three or four different sets of items from different packs, and you blended them perfectly. The My First Pets is, I hate that everybody hates it. I kind of understand why, but at the same time, I love that pack. I absolutely love that pack. And this floor runner is so cute. All right, let's go see what's up these stairs. Look at this. The Batu lights and a look, everybody can keep the uh the cook company just chilling out with this table. That is the coolest idea. And look at all the clutter in here. All the fruit in the basket. Oh, I love this. Enjoy the little things. I agree. And the Really good job with the hearth here. I like that. The toys in the corner for the pets. Some incense. Ah, stop doing that. Look at how cool that is. Love the columns. This kitchen is just pristine. It's beautiful. An amazing job. Yeah, gallery art is a game changer. Look at all this. The windows with the shades, more sunflowers. I'm in love with this kitchen, 100%. This, um, this whole setup here, where it may not be functional, but it should be because it looks awesome. You know? More gallery art up there. Oh, look at these and the tree. I didn't even see these. Look at this. Love the dream catcher. I didn't even see those when I came in. Really cool. Got a pupper calendar, a little chalkboard, a bathroom. Look how cute this is. I love the tan. Another toilet plunger. Approve. I can never seem to get the toothbrushes and the um, soap up in that mirror, whereas it looks like it, they belong there. It looks like they came with it. And I know you put them up there because I've tried and I can't seem to get it just right. It never works. 
But then again, I don't use tool, so. Laundry room. Look at this. Huh? So cute with the, uh, with the sink in here because there would have been a sink, yeah. I love it. Love the colors. Just tool or alt placement. Really well done. Look at this with the layered rugs. Oh, and all the plants, some more sunflowers. Oh, this is amazing. It's 100% lived in. Look at the shelves in the closet. Love it. Let's go see what the bedroom looks like. Or the bathroom, I mean. Look at the... Oh, that is so cool. The new curtains. I still call them new. Another toilet plunger. You do such a good job with your bathrooms. I sometimes tend to gloss over bathrooms. And look, it's lowered into the floor. That is so nice. With the plant hiding it. That's super cool. I'm a huge fan of this bedroom. With all the different rugs. Let's see. What's we got over here? Look at this. All the clothes. Now that's a happy teenager right there. All the nail polish. and oh, That looks so good. What all do we have on the desk? We've got... All sorts of things on the desk. Look at that. Very cool. Future cube and a journal. A backpack in the corner. Oh, I love this room. So much fun. Love the curtain over the door. That totally is a thing. And let's see what's over here. Oh my gosh, this room is so cute! The little toddler bed and the clothes all over the floor. And the team poster. Look at all the I things they could do. I spy Batu toys, which are really cute. They were in my build too because Star Wars was a big thing in the 80s. Look at this. Love all the colors. You're a teacher, but you hardly ever do builds with kids' rooms. Yeah, this this whole build was just screaming to have kids' rooms. I have never noticed that particular growth chart swatch before. I need to use it more often. Yeah, this shell had to have kids. I, I agree. Super, super nice build, though. Let's go outside past the gorgeous kitchen. This is like my favorite room in the house, 100%. And, oh, you use the outdoor retreat one. Chest table. Yes. You don't see that very often. But look at this. So cute. Love the bench by the table idea. I know it doesn't work, but in Sims, they can't, like, eat from it. But they should be able to. And now we're going to go down here. Because I'm dying to see this up close. Look at all the fun stuff underneath the stairs. Have a, little, have a little fun area back here with a bike. And a tree. Look at all this, all this detail. So cool. Look at the pool with all the nautical things and you sized up the lighthouse i don't think i've ever seen that lighthouse sized up that's perfect look at this and the swing set under the gazebo aha dinner that reminds me i am still hungry <laughs> and the flip-flop lights i love them all this stuff on the shelves this is next level. This is like master level level of cluttering here, guys. What is that? Oh, that's from down below. That's the doggy bones. I thought it was like a little lemon or something. I was like, what? Super cool. Look at the all the foods. 
and the little trees and there's even a trash can out here hanging plants oh look at this i love it you made a doggy house i'm gonna have to look at that how did you make this doggy house is it like half walls it's even got a bed in it oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> oh, to be a doggy at this house. <laughs> Fisherman in front of the lighthouse, really? Hold on, I gotta go look. Oh my gosh, there is. <laughs> look at him! <laughs> and all the little bitty sunflowers. You made it like an actual house. That is so adorable. <laughs> that is adorable. I am taking a picture of that because that's, that's super cute. The little tiny sunflowers and the doghouse. The jacuzzi. And what do we have in here? We got some projects underway. And the workbench. Oh, Really well done. This is amazing. Love what you've done. You did a great job on this house. That kitchen is by far my favorite, though. I have to 100% say that. And this trellis over top of the swing. Yes. <laughs> I love the, the garden swing. Made out of the swing set. And more sunflowers. Can't forget more sunflowers. Uh, really, really well done. Let's see. This I have to look at. So how was this done? Is this all just debug items? With a doggy door in the front? I think it's debugs. That is super cute. With the little portico thing on top. Debug fence and posts, an awning, and a dog door. It looks 100% like a dog house. I'm a huge fan of this house. 100%. But this kitchen is absolutely my favorite part of the entire build. Thank you so much for participating. This was absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love the top. Didn't even bother to look up. Look at this. Look at the ceiling you made for the for the shower area. Oh. This is amazing, Simulasis. And lighting is like different in each room, but it still blends. Absolutely super. Huge round of applause for you. Did a great job. The next shell is called Roll the Dice, and it's going to be a fun one too. And after the next couple, I will be bringing that out and publishing it. So let's go back to Manage Worlds. Yeah, tour days are my favorite day of all. Let's move this out. And I think we just have two builds left to look at. I have Trinities. And Brits. So we're going to go, let's do Trinities. It's on a 20 by 30. Perfect. We're just going to toss it right here. Though I hate getting rid of your house, but oh, that is so awesome. Yeah, I, I get so many cool ideas watching, looking and see what everybody else does. It's just awesome. 
You're welcome. I love touring everybody's shells. And if you ever go back and do one of my earlier shells, um, I'd be happy to tour it. So, at any time on any shell, I will tour anybody's build for free. If they do one of my shells or my shell prompts type stuff. Let's hop in. Let's go see Trinity's house. Yeah, this next one is going to be a lot of fun. Because it's based on dice rolls. As to what style you use. And how many bedrooms and how many baths you have to add in. Okay, I can tour when Helene is here for sure. Let's take a look at the outside of this. Look at this. I love that they removed the railings. I love this, Trinity. Amazing job. And the fire extinguisher by the uh, by the grill. Great idea. Look at this little individually placed rocks. Super cute. Super cool detail. Alrighty, let's let's go tour this. Oh, I found a gnome. Yeah, those are all individually placed rocks and shrunk, which you have to do every time for every rock. All the little colors of red, and that's a shrunken down rubber tree, which is just so cute. Look at this. Love the colors. Absolutely love the colors. Look at the brick wall there. Finally remembered to look up for a change. And then look at this kitchen. Another kitchen that is just so pretty. The high chair and the flowers on the shelf. Their little dinette set. Super cute. How they put the cookbooks up on the shelf. Oh. Trinity, you outdid yourself here. Look at this. Oh, I love this little room. That's a poof to put your feet on. And the fairy in the corner. Have the... Oh, this is a neat idea. Put the CDs next to it. That's a really neat idea. I like that a lot. And then this room... Got turned into a home gym. Oh, that's really cool. I'm guessing this may actually be a shower. Is it? It's a whole bathroom. Look at this. Teeny tiny bathroom. I love it. Absolutely love it. Right in the space where you would need it the more. The more. The most, I mean. Love it. Words are hard, guys. Look at the positivity poster. They need to bring that positivity challenge back. Or at least make it so you can use it in-game. Look at this. Okay. I'm a huge fan of this tiny lighthouse, or tiny thing here. The tiny dollhouse. <laughs> you gave it trees and landscaping and everything. That is so cute. Look at all the stuff for the kids underneath the activity table. <laughs> what a fun room. And the knitting stuff. What a fun, fun room. We have... Apparently there was a shelf there that got yeeted, but there's some bears. Floating bears. We have a tablet up high. That's so cute. I'm pretty sure there was a shelf there. The messy carpet in the play area. Super, very realistic. Because carpet never stays the way it's supposed to in a kid's room. And I didn't go see over here yet. Look at this living area. That is seriously posh. 
Love the backdrop behind the couch. Oh my gosh. This is so cute. The little candlelight and the diploma. Oh, very cool. We also did not see what's through here. Oh, we have a little mudroom slash pantry. And some wine storage. And this goes to the outside. With the garden area. Ah, heck, we're over here. We might as well look at it. Look at this. The landscaping is absolutely a... a tr it's a treat. Hi, Fallen! Didn't take your computer to the woods. Well, taking your computer to the woods would just be a silly thing to do. Look at this fun room. Oh, I love this. We turned this into a part of the house. I don't know how that was done, but it looks so cute. And don't ever be sorry for not being able to participate in a challenge. I'm glad that you even thought about doing it, you know? Oh, basketball. <laughs> All right, let's go back in through the mudroom. Oh, look at the baseball pat. We'll go back in here, and then we'll go upstairs and see what Trinity did with that, because this is super cool. Limbo, I barely got my version of this one done. I was literally finishing it last night. Look at this. That is a perfect studio. Oh my gosh. Uh -huh. There's a little book up on the wall too. See? Up here. And more blended items like with this uh, flowers over here. We have another entrance slash another mudroom, laundry room. Love it. Very, very cool. Look at all this storage space up here. Okay, let's go see what's over here. Love the pink. Love the pink. So cute. And the toddler potty. Oh, this is really cool. And the art critic. Look at the shrunken down rugs. That is so cute. I love the little bitty rug. And we have this. That's a cool way to do the dresser. And another dresser there. Never would have thought to use this particular wallpaper in a master bedroom. Very cool. I'm going to guess this is the ensuite. Look at that. Another shrinky dink rug. Very cool. Super nice. Okay, let's see in here. I think it's funny how many of these rooms ended up still being pink in this particular spot. This is so cute. Look at the little owl backpack, robot head, journals, and a computer. I love this. This is so cute. Let's see. What's in this room? Oh, we have a toddler room. <laughs> With the shoes on the wall. This is a theme. We've had shoes on the wall. Like, what's what? The fifth house to have shoes on the wall? And I don't think I've seen them in anybody's build up until this build. <laughs> Everybody was like, this build needs shoes. I am 100% into this. Let's go see what the uh, deck looks like. Look at this. With the bonsai bush. Oh, this is so cute. I love that we made the fencing, like a hedge fencing. I 
It was really, really well done. Super nice attention to detail. That's so cool. I don't even know how I would pick a favorite room in this house. They're all so cute. Probably this one, though. Probably this guy with the teeny tiny dollhouse in it. I think that looks so cute. Yeah, the pirate ship was a great idea. And I love the landscaping in the corners here. With all the individually placed rocks. Really, really good idea. Alright, let's go see the last one. And super, super well done from everybody. Okay, let's... Okay, we just have... Let's put a favorite there. And... Let's go in, and this is on a 30 by 20. We always wanted to run a bed and breakfast, and after a trip to the tropics a few years ago, we decided we would turn our family home into a luxurious tropical getaway. This home includes four rooms for 11 guests and, owner, and an owner's suite. There's an indoor bar, outside oasis, library, several seating areas, and a state-of-the-art kitchen. We may be an unpopular with our neighbors, but that's okay. Your friends will never know you didn't spend the big bucks flying to the tropics. That is so cute. I can't wait to see this one. I love it when they come with a story. No, oh, look at all the the, f the tropical foliage. This is so cute. Hello, Daniel Johnson. Welcome in. We are just getting ready to tour the last shell for this past shell month. And I will be debuting my new one in just a moment. So we're going to go see Brit BC's attempt at my shell. And I'm really excited to see it. Shell days are by far my favorite stream day. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at the little pirate ship. And the coral. And the kitty cat mailbox. Look at all the ship debris. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is absolutely adorable. The little... Look at all the chairs around the bonfire. And <laughs> the treasure chest. We will definitely be taking a closer look at that backyard. Alrighty. Oops, not that. The new shell challenge is called Roll the Dice. And I don't know why... Okay, there. Now I can move. For some reason, I couldn't move my mouse, which is kind of annoying. Love all the rocks here out front. Very cool looking. And we changed up the front area. Oh, that is so cool. Put the scuba gear by the front door. I'm going to go down first because... I love the way they moved the stairs. All that. Look at this. Got a little office area. Everything cluttering the shelves. Very cool. Kaba bowls. And a get together spot. That is super cute. Wine storage. And, <laughs> look at this. 
That's the bar back. All the different currencies. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is so transformed with this being all islandy. I love it. And we have a kitchen. Oh, with the door to the outside. Really nice refrigerator cabinet there. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm going to peek outside. Because check this out. So cute. And we have over here. We have a pool. Very nicely decorated pool, too. One's the bar. Nice. I really like this. Managed to make it look completely different. Alright, let's go back in here. And there's the door to the hallway. And oh, look at this. This must be the owner's suite. There's the laundry room. Look at this. Look at this laundry room. And pantry. Oh, this is so nice. All the cleaning stuff. I have a feeling some of the other stuff was yeeted. Here's a small refrigerator cabinet. Place for the owners to chill, watch some TV. Plenty of places to store things. Very cool. I love all the fans on the ceiling. Okay. I think we came in. No, we didn't. Yeah, we came in that door. So back here is the bathroom for the owners. Very cool. I like it. Okay, let's go back out in the hallway. And another little bathroom for everybody downstairs. Oh, this is so cute. Wine storage, wine consumption. Oh, yeah. This is a party place. That's for sure. I love the uh, little menu board there. All right, now let's go see the upstairs. Look at this, the seating area. Oh, that is so cute. All right, one door at a time. There's a bedroom in here. Oops, wrong button. That is so cute. And this, I believe, is a little bathroom. Look at the lava rocks. That is so cute. Even the um, bathrooms are tropical themed. And then this is an interesting place for a fish trap, but it kind of works actually. Look at this. There's a big camera. What else do we have over here? A camera and some little pictures, I think. That is so cute. I do like the fish trap there. It's like a decoration now. And then we have this, which is a little book room, a little reading nook, all sorts of magazines and clutter. Really cool. Oh, look at this. A little dormitory room. And this is the bathroom. It's again tropical themed. Very cool. Good use of the debug crafted toilet there. It matches very nicely. Never thought about using that one. We got a fish on the wall. Marlin, I think. Or sailfish. And then this is another bathroom. So cool. I'm guessing this is the other. Yeah, look at this. Oh, I love this. This is really well done. This is where Red would spend all the time. Right here in the reading nook. Yeah, 
I can see it. I'm just curious. Nothing in that room. No, yeah, we weren't there. We saw nothing. Let's go see the deck. Look at this. It makes you feel like you're in the tropics. Even though you're not. <laughs> so cute. Let's go down the stairs for the last time. Oh, did the stairs get yeeted? Yeah, the stairs got yeeted. That's okay, though. We'll pretend they were still there. Look at this. Look at the turtle. Oh, this is so well done. I really like this one. We managed to make it look completely different. And yet, even cooler. Look at this. Oh, that's a cool way to do the bathroom with it like that. Yeah, those stairs just got chomped at the last second, I think, by gallery. Sometimes it does it with platform stairs. But very, very nice. All right, let's head back to there. And I am going to show you what the new shell is. Um, let's put it there. Okay, let's make sure I have everybody's favorited. Very nicely done. Okay, my library. Roll the dice. We're going to place you right there. And let me get the image up for it. File name. Alrighty. So this is the new shell. And this is what it looks like on the outside. It's just a basic shell. And it's called Rolls a Dice Shell. And here is the ga graphic. I built you a house in a garage or garage apartment, but this house could be many things. You must roll the dice to decide. Roll an eight-sided dice to find your theme. One is Victorian and Gothic. Two is Craftsman and Mission. Um, three, Mid-Century or Retro. Four is Modern Contemporary. Five, Tudor. Six, Boho. Seven, Island or Bungalow. And eight, Rancher Farm. Then you roll a four-sided dice twice to figure out, one, how many bedrooms you have, and then again, how many bathrooms you have to fit in. After that, the rules are pretty simple. Don't change exterior walls or foundations, and no basements. Add interior floor plan to fit your theme and requirements. Feel free to add decks, pools, roofing, windows, doors, and landscaping. Must use some type of chimney and have at least one fireplace. No CC or pack restrictions may use any sized lot. And tours will be September 1st. So let me upload this so it goes active. And I need to finish putting the directions here. Yes, I will be putting it up there as well. Mm. 
Eight is ranch or farm. Yeah, I need to put in a, um, so I'm going to, that's one thing I have on my list down here is to put in a socials command. So that is the new one and I will be posting, let me pull that image down, let me go to my Twitter and throw the image out there. If I could type. Okay, and I want to tag. Yep. Done. Tweet. Okay, it's up on my Twitter, and I will be also putting it on my, um... I will also be putting it on my blog as well. So that is super cool. And this should be a really fun shell to do. Not too difficult, which I didn't want it to be too difficult. And hubby actually picked this one. I was going to go for my fill in the blanks shell, but we will do that another time. So let me save my game and I'm going to take a quick break and then we'll do some um, black history uh, challenge play since we have extra time and I skipped yesterday's evening so um, let's go to main menu get the correct file loading and then I'll go on break real quick Load game. This one. Alrighty. Let me go on break and I will be right back. Just need to stretch my legs and back and stuff. Especially since I just got adjusted, so I'll be back in less than five. <laughs> 